Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on understanding Pinnacle 21 issues in SDTM datasets. Please note that this video is part of the playlist which is titled Pinnacle 21 issues. So if you are watching this video as a starting point, I suggest you to watch the previous videos in this playlist as I have covered some details ex extensively in the previous videos. So in this video, we will see an example where we may get an issue like subject is not present in DM domain. So if we take a look at the rule that is causing this message. So let us go to this issue uh, rule corresponding to SD0064. So it says all subjects which is U sub JD must be present in demographics domain. And if we go back to the detail sheet here, if you see the message is triggered for row two on LB data set, wherein the U sub JD value is ABC 001 and 001. So if we go to the data that we have. So this is the data that I have used to uh, run the message. So I have taken the example data from HDTM IG 3.3 and fabricated this data so that I could demonstrate this issue. So here if you see on subject, there is a record two, which is like row number three is corresponding to record two in our data set. So ABC 001001. So if you take a look at the demographics data set that I have used to validate LB along with this DM. So there is no record for that subject with ABC 001 and 001. So this has caused that message. So let us try to generate this issue again by importing the data for DM01 of LB8 and the data of LB8. So I have created a program which imports the specific sheets and converts them into SAS datasets and then XPT files. So here I am importing LB008 into a dataset named LB and DM01 LB008 into a dataset named DM. So I'll import and convert them into XPT files. So now my XPT file is generated. Now I will go to my Pinnacle 21 community edition. Let's click on validator. So as we are generating uh, or checking the issues related to SDTM and as I am using the data from IG 3.3. So I'm using the configuration of SDTM IG 3.3. So let us select those two uh, data sets and then click on open and then click on validate button. So there are around 12 messages were generated of which we are interested in only one of them now. So if we go to the detail sheet here, if you see the same message, which we were seeing in the beginning of the video is present here. So it said subject ABC 001001 is not present in DM domain. So let us now go ahead and try to fix that. Let's assume that this was coming because of a data issue and then we have queried it to the data management team and they have corrected the subject ID. So let us go to the corrected file. So let's assume that they have corrected the subject ID and this is in fact the record corresponding to subject ABC 1230101. So once they fix the data and let's assume that we have run our SDTM and the subject ID is now appearing as this corrected one. So as we have, we will have one more change that could happen. So earlier what happened was like as the subject was not present in uh, the demographics data set, we will not be able to calculate the LBDY. So now we will have LBDY, we will be able to calculate. So let us go ahead and use this updated data set and see if the issue related to the subject not present in demographics domain gets resolved. So let us go to the program and then try to import the updated or fixed sheet for LB and then try to see. So I have, so now we have the XPT file generated for these two updated files. So let's use the updated XPT files, then click on open, then click on validate again. So now earlier there were 12 messages. Now we have 11 messages. I hope that the issue related to the subject not being present in demographics data set gets resolved. Let's open the report and see if that message is present now. So let us go to the detail sheet. And then if we see there is no such message which is related to the subject being not present in demographics domain. So if we 
go back and see the pre message which was generated based on the previous data or the unupdated data. So we had that message. The updated report, we don't have that message. So these kind of issues may happen in majority of the cases because of raw data issues only. Or if sometimes if some truncations can happen in some of the domains when you are creating U sub JD. So in that case, you will resolve the program. And if it is a raw data issue, you would query it with the data management team and get it resolved. And then refresh your SDTMs and then try to generate the report to ensure that the message is resolved. Thank you for watching and keep learning.